former Mexican. What's that? Former Mexican. A former? Former Mexican. So. You say former? Yeah, I just say that. How the hell does that work? American now. You used to be, but now you're not. Todo un verbo, tomamos tragos sin pero, solo tentación. Le dije, voy a conquistar tu familia, que no nos digas, vas a ser mía. Me dijo, que estoy muy loco, pero le gusta que ningún vato como yo actúa. ¿Qué te va, mija? Voy a conquistar tu familia que no nos digas vas a ser mía. Me dijo que estoy muy loco pero le gusta que ningún vato como yo actúa. ¿Qué te va mija? Que por la doble P viejo. What's up guys, I hope you enjoyed that tremendous intro, we're here with the UFC Mexico full card predictions, we got a great card coming up this weekend with a bunch of fun fights, obviously the two fights at the top are the main attraction, but the prelims, although there's not too much name value, should be pretty fun, so let's get through the entire card and I'll give you my prediction and breakdown, let's get started with the prelims. So the first fight on the card, Naimov versus Eric Silva. Uh, no one cares. N neither of these guys are Mexican, so why the fuck are they on the card? Naimov's gonna win by TKO is my prediction. Uh, pretty sure Silva's a Colombian, but like, that shit don't count. We want Mexicans, or former Mexicans. We don't want fucking Colombians. So Naimov's obviously gonna get it done. He's pretty solid, and he's probably gonna cheat his way to a victory. Um, the next fight, I don't even know the order of this card. I just dumped all the fights on the screen. Uh, Ulta Morano versus Felipe Silva. Felipe Silva de Tona is getting the win. Um, yeah, Ulta Morano, although he is Mexican, is not going to be one of the Mexicans to get a W on tonight's card. Or not tonight's card, but on the card. Uh, Felipe de Tona is going to get the win. I reckon he's going to win a decision. He's really good. He fought Manel Cap, and uh, he actually made it pretty close. So good stuff to, good stuff to him. And uh, he's a prospect that I'm pretty excited about. He's relatively inexperienced in MMA, and I reckon he's going to get the W here and then keep pushing forward, and he's got a bright future. Um, the next fight is, uh, again, don't know what order. Luis Rodriguez versus Denise Bonda. I'm sorry, I'm again, I'm not picking the Mexican here. This one's a close one. I could go with Rodriguez, but some of his fights I've watched, um, they're, they're, he doesn't look the best. Um, and also the only image I could find of him is with fucking grey, uh, a grey image. So that's just not what you're going to want to see. So I'm picking Bonda by submission. Edgar Chaires versus Daniel Lacerda or Daniel De Silva. I'm picking the Mexican here. He's going to get it done for his cartel and he's bringing home the bounty. Um, yeah, Edgar Chaires, um, I think he's going to get a round one sub. He had a round one sub locked in in their first encounter back at UFC Noche and um, the referee robbed him of a victory. So yeah, he's robbing. He ain't getting robbed this time. You know, he's robbing you of your drug money and then um, he's dipping. So good job for Chaires. I reckon he's getting the W. Uh... Jesus Aguilar, again, another Mexican. I might not be picking him, though. I'm going to go with Mendonca, even though this is a risky one. But I'm going to go with Mendonca just because Aguilar, he beat Shannon Ross. And that's all he's really beat. And Shannon Ross ain't that good. I would love to see the little Chaparito Mexican get the get the W over this blue-haired um, weirdo. But no, nah, actually, I don't, I, don't, I don't hate Mendonca. His last fight was kind of weird, though. He kept fucking pulling, going for leg locks and shit. Um... So I'm picking him to win, but I don't know, Aguilar could definitely get it done. I'm picking Fares Ziam to uh, get the win over Claudio Puelles, uh, who's also not Mexican, he's Peruvian, so fake Mexican, he's not even a real Mexican, so why is he on this card? Um, but Puelles, uh, he's not very good, he fought Dan Hooker and he looked like a sped, uh, kept dropping to his ass and trying to go for leg locks, and then he just got teeped in the body like twice and just quit, and took a shit on the back of a bus. So yeah, I'm picking Ziam to win, even though he's not that good, 
and he's been subbed before. I don't know. I just don't trust Puelas to win a fight. Um, but and then the last one, I'm going to pick Barcelos to beat Quinones again. The prelims, I'm picking against the Mexicans, so it could come to bite me. Maybe all the Mexicans just win on this card. Um, but I'm going to pick uh, what's his name, Hayoni Barcelos, because although he hasn't really beat too many really good people, the people he's lost to are pretty solid. Like he lost to Umar. He's lost to, like, you know, Kyla Phillips and stuff. So I don't, like, rate his performances that badly. Um, so, yeah, those are the picks for the prelims. Let's move on to the main card. So, first fight on the main card, we've got Manuel Torres versus Chris Duncan. I'm picking Torres, the Mexican, to get the round one knockout. I do think, obviously, I didn't pick too many of the, the Mexicans on the prelims, but, you know, they're the, le the less notable Mexicans. They need to work their way up through the cartels, through the um, the ranks, you know, and they're not there yet, but these guys are, these guys towards the top of the card, they are worth my prediction, so I'm picking Manuel Torres by round one knockout, I reckon he's going to smoke Chris Duncan, eh, maybe not smoke him, Chris Duncan, he has been wrestling a lot recently in his fights, he could just take down Torres and hold him there, in which case uh, he'd probably get tacos thrown at him on the way out of the arena, um, but I do think Torres is going to get it done by brutal knockout, in the first round, Chris Duncan's very hittable. He was getting tagged up when he fought on the Contender Series. And uh, he was getting dropped. His chin's all right, but I do think he's going to get put out by Torres. Uh, the other fight, uh, no, the next fight is Yasmin Harugi versus Sam Hughes. I'm picking Harugi by round two TKO. She's the only Mexican woman on this card. And I think she is going to deliver for the Latinas. Um... So I think she's going to get it done by TKO. Sam Hughes just isn't good anyway. She's not threatening in any aspect of martial arts. And uh, she's going to lose. So Haragi for the finish. Uh, Raul Rosas Jr. I call him Meep. Um, he's going to get it done by submission in my opinion. Ricky Tercios ain't that good. Um, hasn't fought in a while. When he, his last fight, I remember, was the most retarded thing I've ever watched. He just kept stomping his feet and making loud noises. Like, I think he might have Tourette's. I'm not sure. We're going to have to get that one checked out. But Royal Rosas Jr., he might be disabled, but he doesn't have Tourette's. He's going to get this one done by submission in the first. He's going to take down Tercios real easy and get it done. Uh, and then the uh, the next fight is... Uh, what's the fucking next fight? Daniel Zelhuba versus Francisco Prado. Yeah, Zelhuba, I'm going to pick him to get it done. He's a pretty big favorite. I'm not too confident in the line, like the odds, because, you know, Prado, he's Argentinian, so he does have that uh, Latino power. Um, so he could definitely get this one done. Um, he's got a good chin too. He's got like he's like the South American Drew Dober. Um, but I'm gonna pick Zell Huber to get it done by unanimous decision. I wouldn't wouldn't surprise me if he gets a finish, but uh, he what's his name? Prado went distance with Malaki, and that's his only loss in his career. So until he gets finished, I'll pick him to uh, lose a decision. But let's move on to the co-main event, the more notable fights on the card. Predigo que Guerrera Yair Rodriguez porque Brano Ortega es terrible. That's my Spanish for you. I'm basically an honorary Mexican. I'm picking Yair Rodriguez because Brian Ortega is terrible if you needed the translation. Mexicans in the comments, let me know. How did I go? I think I did a pretty good job. Um, but I'm not going to try and speak any more Spanish for the rest of uh, this video. It's not going to go well. Um, but yeah, I'm picking Yair Rodriguez to win by TKO. I do think he's going to tune up Ortega and uh, get it done pretty easily. Let's be honest. Khabib has won more recently than Brian Ortega, and Khabib right now is a part-time coach, full-time goat farmer, um, so yeah, I just don't trust Brian Ortega to win, his last win was the Korean Zombie in a decision in 2020, as nuts, since then, he lost to Volk, got smoked by Volk, and then uh, lost to Yaya, obviously, in that most recent fight, which was in July 2022, so he's been out for like a year and a half. And I just don't trust him to get this one done. Look, he does have great grappling. So if he does get it to the floor, it could be trouble, I guess. But Yaya stayed out of trouble for the most part against, like, he didn't show an amazing ability to get back up. But I do think Volk's top game and Volk's, like, wrestling is so much better than Brian Ortega's. So you could say, oh, he got taken down really easily by Frankie Edgar and by Volk and stuff. But it's like, Brian Ortega's not like a wrestler like Edgar. He's like a jiu-jitsu guy that latches onto subs when he gets the chance, but he doesn't wrestle so much, like, he didn't take down Volk, he wasn't taken down, like, Holloway and stuff like that, so I don't think he's taken down Yair, I think Yair is just going to keep him a range, tune him up on the feet real bad, 
kick him to the legs, kick him to the body, kick him to the head, knee him to the legs, knee him to the body, knee him to the head, elbow him to the body, elbow him to the legs, elbow him to the head. He's just going to be sending shots everywhere, all over the face of Brian Ortega. Pause. Um, but yeah, he's going to be able to... I think Brian Ortega's too much of a punching bag. His defense is not that good, and especially with all this time off, I think his defense is going to be even worse than it is previously because we know this man had to get taught by Max Holloway how to block a hook, so I don't think uh, he's going to have too much uh, success blocking head kicks and jumping switch kicks from Yair Rodriguez. I'm picking Yair to just use him as a fucking punching bag. Fucking hit, you hit him in the fucking 40 meter body bag. I'm just, I'm picking, um, yeah, Yai is gonna tune him up and Ortega's gonna go home in a body bag like he's just been hit up by a Mexican cartel member for the ransom. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. I'm recording this video at like fucking 12 30 a.m. Um, Bear with me. Yeah, uh, if I haven't told you already, I'm picking Yo Rodriguez by third round TKO. He's going to smoke Ortega and uh, get it done. TKO, I don't think it will knock him out clean. It would be pretty sick if he did, but he's going to be sending everything his way and Ortega's just not going to be able to take it all. So yeah, Yaya Rodriguez to win. Uh, we move on to the main event. London Moreno round three submission bet the house or bet the drug money um she's gonna he's gonna get it done real easy Brandon Royval you know he's a former Mexican I know that of course you might ask how I know that you know I'm Manel Cap he got in contact with me he's of course a eugenics expert and he's like to me he's a he's a DNA expert and he's like I can tell Brandon Royval he's got the DNA of a former Mexican so yeah, I can't trust him to get it done. So Brandon Moreno is going to win this fight by submission in rounds three. He's better everywhere, if I'm being serious, obviously. Jokes aside, I'm trying to be funny. Uh, I hope I'm being funny. Um, <laughs> I'm too tired, man. Um, but yeah, Brandon Moreno, he's I, th I do think he's better everywhere. He's got a better chin. He's got more power. I think he's got the crisper boxing. He's got the better grappling in terms of both wrestling and offensive jiu-jitsu and defensive jiu-jitsu as well. We saw that just based off both of their fights with Pantoja. Rival looked pretty much incapable of getting up from bottom with his Moreno. Like, he got his... The only time he really got prolonged periods of control was just, like, he got his back taken and then got body triangled. But Moreno was just getting held down in fucking side, side control. So, uh, if I said Moreno, I meant Rival, whatever. Um, anyway... Yeah, Rival, I don't think his grappling game is the level of Moreno's too. If Moreno decides to take it to the ground, I think he could do that, beat him up, even keep it on the feet. I know people are like, oh, Rival, good catch him. Like, I mean, yeah, sure. Moreno's hands are fucking by his shoulders and stuff, and he's like sticking his chin out there like a spaz. Um, he might be downs, genuinely. Um, but it uh, makes for a great fighter, so fair play to him. He's, he's fought six times for the belt. He's had six different title fights. Zero defenses. That's actually pretty... Uh, that's actually impressive. I'll give him credit. He's managed to fight for a UFC title six times without defending it. That's actually nuts. So fair play to him. Uh, this has gone from like a prediction video to just a random fucking like reciting statistics and shit. So yeah, you guys get the vibe. I think everyone's picking Moreno. He's the real Mexican here and uh, he's going to get it done and bring home the W for Mexico in the main event. Viva la Mexico! Uh, so that's going to be the card done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've added a bit of spice to this one, you know, added some salsa to it. Um, but yeah, like the video and subscribe. Otherwise, the cartel is going to be after you. Edgar Shiras is already on his way to your residence right now. If you needed a recap of my predictions, I'm picking Moreno by sub. I'm picking Yair by TKO. I'm picking Zelhuba by decision. Haragi by TKO. Torres by KO, Rosas by Sub. Uh, for the prelims, I'm picking uh, Barcelos. I'm picking... Um, uh, fucking who am I picking? Felipe de Tona. I'm picking Mendonca. I'm picking Naimov. I'm picking Ziam. I am also picking uh, someone else that I can't remember. Denis Bonda. And uh, there's another fight, but who cares? Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody. See ya. Viva la Mexico!
le parece esa morra, la que anda bailando sola. 